Pelvic pain, Wikipedia article audio. Pelvic pain is pain in the area of the pelvis. Acute pain is more common than chronic pain. If the pain lasts for more than six months, it is deemed to be chronic pelvic pain. It can affect both women and men. Terminology Cause Female Diagnosis Females Males Treatment Females too Male Epidemiology Female too Social implications Research MAP Research Network Common causes and include, endometriosis in women, bowel adhesions, irritable bowel syndrome, and interstitial cystitis. The cause may also be a number of poorly understood conditions that may represent abnormal psychoneuromuscular function. Urologic chronic pelvic pain syndrome is an umbrella term adopted for use in research into pain syndromes associated with the male and female pelvis. It is not intended for use as a clinical diagnosis. The hallmark symptom for inclusion is chronic pain in the pelvis, pelvic floor, or external genitalia, although this is often accompanied by lower urinary tract symptoms. Chronic pelvic pain in men is referred to as chronic prostatitis slash chronic pelvic pain syndrome and is also known as chronic nonbacterial prostatitis. Men in this category have no known infection, but do have extensive pelvic pain lasting more than three months. Many different conditions can cause pelvic pain including the diagnostic workup begins with a careful history and examination, followed by a pregnancy test. Some women may also need blood work or additional imaging studies, and a handful may also benefit from having surgical evaluation. The absence of visible pathology in chronic pain syndromes should not form the basis for either seeking psychological explanations or questioning the reality of the patient's pain. Instead it is essential to approach the complexity of chronic pain from a psychophysiological perspective which recognizes the importance of the mind-body interaction. Some of the mechanisms by which the limbic system impacts on pain and in particular myofascial pain, have been clarified by research findings in neurology and psychophysiology. In chronic pelvic pain there are no standard diagnostic tests in males, diagnosis is by exclusion of other disease entities. Chronic pelvic pain is often misdiagnosed as chronic bacterial prostatitis and needlessly treated with antibiotics exposing the patient to inappropriate antibiotic use and unnecessarily to adverse effects with little if any benefit in most cases. Within a Bulgarian study, where by definition all patients had negative microbiological results, a 65% adverse drug reaction rate was found for patients treated with ciprofloxacin in comparison to a 9% rate for the placebo patients. This was combined with a higher cure rate found within the placebo group. Many women will benefit from a consultation with a physical therapist, a trial of anti-inflammatory medications, hormonal therapy, or even neurological agents. A hysterectomy is sometimes performed. Spinal cord stimulation has been explored as a potential treatment option for some time, however there remains to be consensus on where the optimal location of the spinal cord this treatment should be aimed. As the innervation of the pelvic region is from the sacral nerve roots, previous treatments have been aimed at this region, results have been mixed. Spinal cord stimulation aimed at the mid to high thoracic region of the spinal cord have produced some positive results. Multimodal therapy is the most successful treatment option in chronic pelvic pain, 
and includes alpha blockers, phytotherapy, and protocols aimed at quieting the pelvic nerves through myofascial trigger point release with psychological retraining for anxiety control. Antibiotics are not recommended. Most women, at some time in their lives, experience pelvic pain. As girls enter puberty, pelvic or abdominal pain becomes a frequent complaint. Chronic pelvic pain is a common condition with rate of dysmenorrhoea between 16.881%, dyspareunia between 821.8%, and non-cyclical pain between 2.124%. According to the CDC, chronic pelvic pain accounted for approximately 9% of all visits to gynecologists in 2007. In addition, CPP is the reason for 20-30% of all laparoscopies in adults. Pelvic girth pain is frequent during pregnancy. In the pursuit of better outcomes for people, Problems have been found in current procedures for the treatment of chronic pelvic pain. These relate primarily with regard to the conceptual dichotomy between an organic genesis of pain, where the presence of tissue damage is presumed, and a psychogenic origin, where pain occurs despite a lack of damage to tissue. CPP literature in medicine and psychiatry reflects a paradigm where unproblematically observable organic processes are causally and sequentially explained, despite evidence in favor of a possible model which accounts for the complex role played by meaning and consciousness in the experience of pain. While in the literature of causal mechanisms reference is made to subjective aspects of pain, Current models do not provide a means through which these aspects may be accessed or understood. Without interpretive or subjective approaches to the pain experienced by patients, medical understandings of CPP are fixed within organic sequences of the purely object body conceptually separated from the patient. Despite the prevalence of this wider understanding of the biological genesis of pain, alternate diagnosis and treatments of CPP in multidisciplinary settings have shown high success rates for people for whom organic pathology has been unhelpful. In 2007, the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases, part of the United States National Institutes of Health, began using UPS as a term to refer to chronic pelvic pain syndromes, mainly interstitial cystitis bladder pain syndrome in women and chronic prostatitis chronic pelvic pain syndrome in men. In 2008, NIDCA established the MAP Research Network to help better understand the underlying causes of IC-BPS and CP-CPPS recognizing that there was a lack of understanding and management of these pain syndromes and also that they were frequently associated with chronic pain disorders elsewhere in the body. Through its research, the aims are to discover new and clinically relevant insights that may lead to improved treatment options and better patient care. Research findings by the MAP Research Network include Exaggerated bladder bowel or uterine pain sensitivity, pelvic girdle pain, pudendal nerve entrapment. People with painful bladder symptoms have more severe UPS symptoms, more systemic presentation of syndromes and poorer quality of life.